Good day to you and hey, welcome to Rasa CG Oklahoma City's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Basse of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. And I pray that as you've joined me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 23rd August 2020, we'll be looking at the topic, Show Some Kindness. Show Some Kindness. Our memory verse will be taken from Hebrews chapter 13 verse 1, which says, Let brotherly love continue. We'll be taking our text from Isaiah chapter 35 from verses 3 to 8. Isaiah 35 verses 3 to 8, which says, Strengthen ye the weak hands, and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that I will be fearful heart. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an act and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. And the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and brushes. And an highway shall be there and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. A Christian may be smiling on the outside because he or she is accustomed to looking cheerful, whereas on the inside, the person could be going through a lot of challenges. The ties and the hats we all wear to church on Sunday cover the empty stomachs or the depressed thoughts of some workers in the church. Sometimes the pastor is going through a marital crisis, but he still has to settle issues in the marriage of a church member. So, our uh, Father and Lord is giving us a sort of a, uh, a background into or insight into what may be going on among some of us that are Christians. You know, on Sundays especially, we all dress nicely, beautifully, and you know, um, we wear our best clothes, we wear our ties, our suits, and the, you see the sisters in their hats, nice high heel shoes, and things like that. But we don't know what is going on on the inside of them. We don't know the problems or the challenges that they are facing. So many people are facing challenges that we cover up with smiles. We cover up with, um, you know, with Christian language, oh, God bless you, hallelujah, thank God. But issues are happening. The pastor might even be having issues. The pastor may be having marital issues. Maybe he and his wife are having issues, even on that Sunday morning. And he still has to come to church to undo things. So, these issues happen among Christians. This issue happens to people. And we should, we, we are talking about being able to look beyond just the physical, just the surface. To be able to see what is going on in people's hearts, in people's lives. The passage is saying we need to look out for each other every now and then. We need to pick up the phone and call that brother or sister to ask how are you doing or how they are doing. We need to bring a gift, no matter how small, to church once in a while to give someone. Believe me, the one who is strengthening others also needs strengthening once in a while. So our Father and Lord is saying that every now and then, let's be a brother's keeper. Let's look out for one another. Let's look beyond the smiling and the lifting up of hands and the clapping and the nice dresses. People are going through issues. People around you that you may not even suspect that they are going through issues, they are going through issues. So once in a while, let's pick up that phone. Let's call someone. Let's call someone you know around us and say, oh how are you doing how are things let's ask questions let's get to know people better let's get to understand people once in a while you can also bring gifts to church and give to someone that you sense may be in need or you know just random acts of kindness among one another because the truth is even amongst those who appear to be very strong christians and they're always there for everything serving in the house in the house of god and things like that they need encouragement too sometimes they too may be going through things in which they need the encouragement. So even the strong people, so-called strong people, needs to be encouraged or strengthened from time to time. So there are different kind of kind things we can do. Share gifts, make phone calls, check up on people and things like that. If you can even invite people to your homes 
for lunch, maybe after church service. Let's be sensitive also to the leading of God. He might be pointing us in the direction of certain people who may not have anything. So we need to do this for one another. When you notice the commitment level of a particular brother or sister winning, before you accuse or judge them, find out how they are faring first. Checking on them, whether they are in church or not, shows that you love them. Sometimes the devil brings suggestions to some of the strong Christians to drop out of the Christian race, but just a word of encouragement from you, a smile or a show of love can give them strength to continue in the race. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. For he hath not another to help him up. So, when we see that some people appear, you know, they are good Christians, but they appear to be drawing back. It's not a time for us to judge, criticize, or accuse them. It's a time for us to get closer to them. Let's find out what is going on. Let's find out what is going wrong. They might be going through certain things. They might be going through one or two things. Things might not be good at all. Things might not be good in their academics. Things might not be good with their children. Let's get to know them instead of judging and accusing one another. Let's get to know them and let's offer words of encouragement. And if we have something that can help that situation, that can alleviate that situation, let us, you know, do it for them. Because the truth is, even people that appear strong, people, even the pastors, the devil might suggest to them once in a while, you know, to draw back in the faith. But your word of encouragement, your acts of kindness and love can be what will keep them in the faith. The Bible in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 talks about the fact that two are better than one. Which essentially means that, you know, being alone can be dangerous. Because when one falls, who will lift one back up? So we must be there for one another to lift ourselves back up. When we see someone falling, let's lift them up. When we see someone lacking, let's provide for their need. This was the thing, these were the things the early church did. You know, they brought things together in common, they shared so that no one had any lack, no one had any issues, everything was common. People met one another's needs. They were their brother's keepers. So let's take up that attitude even in our churches. Even as general of ourselves, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, that's according to the GO, to the our Father and Lord, many years ago, I decided to resign because I thought the people I was praying and caring so much for did not care about me. It was a little girl whom God sent to bring me a cake that he used to bring me out of that depressed state. Even though I did, I don't like cake, I ate this once, and ever since, I have not considered resigning again. You don't know the effects that a little encouragement could have on your brethren. Show kindness to one another always. So we could see our Father in the Lord even telling us his own personal experience, that he had, at some point, gotten so sad about the work, I mean that the fact that the people he was laboring over didn't care about him and he was going to resign. But God used a small girl to bring him a cake. He ate the cake. That was what brought encouragement. At least someone, even if it's a little girl, cares about him. Do we care about our leaders? Do we care about our spiritual leaders? Our unit leaders? Do we care about them? Do we care about our fellow church members? These are the things that the devil, you know, discouragement is what the devil used to draw many people back. And that's how some people of, you know, some devilish people get to win some Christians over. Because they appear to be the caring one, they appear to be the nice one, they are meeting their needs. And before you know it, they draw away. So please, let us reach out to one another. Let us encourage our leaders. Let's encourage the leaders at whatever level. And let's encourage one another. Let's be kind towards one another. You don't know the effect of your kindness, your encouraging words, your gifts will do to your fellow brother. So show kindness to one another always. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. So our action point says, look for at least one person in your church today and just encourage the person. If you can give a gift, go ahead and do so. So this is a challenge to us, a challenge today, August 23, 2020. Look for one person in church today before you leave church. Send a word of encouragement to that person. And also, if you can do it, 
you can give a gift maybe before the week runs out. I pray that the blessings of obeying this word will be our portion in Jesus' name. Let's say a word of prayer. Our Lord and our God will say thank you for your word that has come to us. We are asking Lord God Almighty that you make us our brothers keepers, make us encouragers. Lord God Almighty, help us to be sensitive to one another's issues. Let us speak word of encouragement. Let us give. Let us support one another. Let there be brotherly love and kindness in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless you.